There have been plenty of companies that have tried to compete with Google. Mostly, they've all failed. But maybe there's a company that just might be an effective competitor. Perplexity AI bills itself as an answer engine that responds to queries as a chatbot, and it's got more than 15 million active users. Trying to compete with Google and become the next big search engine can seem like a doomed mission. Google dominates 90% of all searches done on the internet. Microsoft Bing hasn't made a dent, even after joining forces with OpenAI and using ChatGPT. And you remember the early 2000s, some of the search engines were just barely trying to survive against Google. You can ask Jeeves about that. But Perplexity seems to be on a tear. At the start of 2024, it was worth about a billion dollars. And then at the end of the year, it raised about $500 million and got a new valuation of $9 billion. But why are people willing to pay Perplexity when Google is free? Well, maybe that's because a lot of the Google results that you get when you run a search on the site end up being clogged up with ads, and you have to scroll down quite a bit to try and find the information that you're looking for. And people are tired of that. Now, it's one thing to have a great product, but it helps to have a great leader too. Perplexity AI's founder worked at both OpenAI and Google. He's also a consummate networker and negotiator who's been pretty good at diffusing tension with his critics, particularly from the publishing world. And he's referred to Google as not being a direct competitor. He's not really wrong there. And that's because about a third of all all the searches that people do on Google are just the name of a website, like TikTok or Facebook. Operating an AI startup over the last couple of years has usually meant that you end up getting swallowed up by a tech giant. Just in 2024, for instance, three of the most promising AI startups in Silicon Valley got absorbed by tech giants. But Perplexity has managed to remain independent. And with the amount of money that it's managed to raise to this point, Maybe it'll continue to stay that way. Maybe the industry finally has a credible outsider that could reshape the way we search for things online. Instead of Googling something, we will perplexify it or perplexago, we'll figure it out.